Hey, what's going on YouTube family? This is your man Pristine, I'm back with another video. Welcome to the full Pristine review for the LG Wing. Let's dive right in. Now the Wing was released, uh, if I recall, back in October or November of 2020. And, you know, in a time where, you know, we're seeing a lot of, uh, a lot of breakthrough with, uh, with foldable devices and seeing different manufacturers introducing different um, uh, 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 foldable options, uh, this, this to me had to, had to have been one of the most, um, one of the most ballsy moves I'd say as far as the whole folding device concept or just the ability to use dual screens. And so, you know, we've got, you know, the, the Galaxy Z Flip out there, the Galaxy Fold, you know, the Galaxy, uh, um, uh, what's the, 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 the clamshell folding one, uh, the Z Flip, um, you know, Motorola, you know, they've got a couple of razors out there, you know, Huawei, they got the Mate X, um, you know, and, and, and according to a lot of different sources, we've got a lot more foldable devices coming down the pipeline or just different dual screen options. And typically with LG, what they've been doing as of late is uh, they've been including a dual screen accessory like the LG G8, the V60, um, and you can just snap the phone into another another dual screen display and kind of open it up like a book. And you've got dual displays on the right and left side to kind of to multitask and do a bunch of different things. But, you know, I, I, I've, I've always felt like LG doesn't really get, you know, uh, uh, the recognition that that they deserve, especially in the smartphone industry. You know, I feel like they've. Um, They've originated a lot of things in the smartphone industry. They typically don't get credit for those things. I feel like, you know, because of the fact that they're heavily in competition with Samsung and Apple, um, they tend to get overshadowed a lot by those devices, even though in my personal opinion, the Samps, um, the, uh, the LG devices are just as good as Samsung and definitely iPhones because iPhones, in my opinion, aren't offering nearly as much as a lot of the LG phones do. And so, you know, to me, in my opinion, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Apple fanboys and fangirls, but in a lot of different cases, it's kind of hard to, 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 to mention Apple's name in the same breath as LG, in my personal opinion. You know, they both make great devices. They both make devices and accessories and things that I enjoy. But, I th it, you know, at the end of the day, if it was a choice between Apple, Samsung, or LG, I probably would choose LG pretty much every time. And that has everything to do with, you know, just the experiences that I've had over the years with several different LG devices. Not to say that my experiences have been bad with Apple's and Samsung's because they haven't, but I feel like I get the most out of LG devices. And the LG Wing here um, is another one of those devices that gave me a, a fantastic experience overall. And it, it, it sucks. Because I, you know, over the years, you know, I guess LG has been taking a major loss um, in their mobile division, and I've actually heard things that they they may they're actually considering discontinuing their mobile division. And you know, LG they've got their hands in so many different things. I mean, they've got computers, laptops, Chromebooks, you know, home appliances, you know, washers, dryers, dishwashers, microwaves. You know, they you know they got their hands in so many different things, and so you know. Um, you know, Bluetooth speakers, headphones, you know, uh, you know, just everything, right? L LG, they've got their hands in everything. And so, although, you know, it would be sad for me to see LG exit the mobile, the mobile phone market. But I mean, I understand, you know, if it's not as profitable as they thought it would be, or as they think it should be, then you know, I guess a company has to do what it got, you know, do what they got to do. So, you know, I'd like to know what you guys think about down in the comments, what you think LG would need to do to, 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 to get the, to, to really start to get the recognition that they need. Now, you know, my understanding is that they've got a rollable device that's coming out and this too is going to be another innovating, uh, innovative move, you know, you know, and I've saw, I've seen some concepts, you know, I guess at CES, you know, they, they unveiled it, you know, I saw a couple of videos on it, like it looks pretty slick. And so I'm looking forward to that. 
LG is claiming that that device is going to be coming in 2020, early 2021, might I add. And so definitely looking forward to that. But the word is that that could potentially be LG's last phone that they release. I hope not. But, you know, I just hope that that phone is great and that it does well and, um, and that it would give LG, you know, a reason to stay in the, in, in, in the mobile phone category. And, you know, they've got something for everybody. They've got quality devices at every price point, different sizes, you know, feature options, all those kind of things. LG has literally something for everyone. So it, I think it will be a major loss for LG to exit the smartphone realm. All right. Now, the wing here, what we've got in the wing, we've got a 6.8 inch rotating P OLED 1080p by 2460 pixel display. We've got a 395 PPI pixel density Corning Gorilla Glass 5 on the front and back, 87.5 screen to body ratio. Um, and then when you slide the screen up, that bottom display is a It's a secondary G OLED 3.9 inch 1080p by 1240 pixel display. And this is, you know, a fully functioning display as well. Um, and, you know, th this this to me, ladies and gentlemen, is just this is <laughs> this is this is groundbreaking right here. Right. I mean, this, this phone is so dope. And to think that the manufacturer is actually talking about exiting the smartphone uh, 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 world is, is just, is beyond me. I, I mean, it is just, it is beyond me, but you know, it, it, it is what it is. You know, I'm not the guy that's behind the numbers and the figures, uh, that LG was looking to, 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 to get, to be able to maintain their mobile division, but it just, that, that would really suck. I hope that that doesn't happen. Now, the internal specifications, we've got a Snapdragon 765G. This phone is 5G enabled. We've got an OctaCore CPU, an Adreno 620 GPU. We've got 128 gigs of onboard storage. Um, and I don't believe the storage, wait. Oh, we do have a micro SD card slot for memory expansion. Okay, we've got eight gigs of RAM running Android 10. Um, I believe this is going to get an update to Android 11 if it hasn't already, or if it haven't, is it, ha ah, if it hasn't already, I'll take a look at that and see, because I know that there's been several updates that has hit this device since I've had it. I just can't recall off the top of my head if the Android 11 update is one of them, but I'll take a look at that here in the settings shortly. Now, um, those are the internal specifications that we've got for this device. And, um, you know, uh, the price for this phone is was $9.99 when I picked it up. You know, it was a Verizon exclusive at the time. You know, Verizon, they released it first. It was a thousand bucks. You know, I just walked into the Verizon store, cashed out, just paid, you know, paid top, you know, paid top dollar for it and got out of there because I, I'm just, I, I love LG products and I knew that this device was going to give me everything that I want, need and some in a device. And so I didn't mind paying full cost. I think that it was totally worth it. Uh, since then, this phone has been released at, um, I've seen it in T-Mobile. You can get it at T-Mobile. Um, I believe you can get it um, at AT&T as well. Don't quote me on that. I know you can get it on Amazon. You can get it from LG's website. Um, and I actually, I saw this phone at Walmart unlocked um, over the holiday season uh, for like $5.99. And so, you know, I was kind of kicking myself knowing that I paid full price, knowing that I could have got it, you know, for, for much cheaper had I waited. But like I said, I mean, I'm always electing to save money whenever I can, but I think that this phone is very well worth a thousand bucks. Um, that's just my personal opinion. I know some of you out there may not feel as though any device is worth a thousand bucks, no matter what it's featuring, no matter what it does, no matter how it looks. And I totally, totally understand that if those are your sentiments. Now, the build quality, we've got Corning Gorilla Glass 5 on the front and the back, and this phone is an absolute beast. It is 6.8 inches, it's heavy, it's kind of thick, you know, but I like the fact that, you know, it's rounded around the back, you know, to the edges, I mean, so it makes the phone easier to wield in the hand, even though I've got really small hands. I mean, and it's got like this mirror finish, I mean, you can see me right here, you know, in the background. Um, this uh, this color is um, Aurora Gray. 
and there's only two colors aurora gray and illusion sky and uh you, you it's it's definitely it's a fingerprint magnet um, I do have a case for this joint and I will link the case down below in the description if you have or want to buy this device and you want to protect it. Um, but it's it's a heavy device. I'm not going to lie to you. You know, I mean, so, you know, a combination with the glass, I believe there is some aluminum uh, tucked, away, tucked in there at some uh, somewhere. But the phone, it, it it's thick, you know, it's heavy. And I can understand that that can be cumbersome to some. But the build quality overall, I mean, it feels extremely premium in your hand. You know, again, I mean, it's a bunch of glass everywhere. I mean, so if you drop it, I mean, you know, definitely expect to file a claim. You know, we do not have an IP rating on this on this joint just because of the rotating screen uh, uh, capabilities. And I don't believe that, you know, getting this phone, uh, getting this phone wet by any stretch of the imagination is an option. So, you know, um, if you do have this device, you definitely want to stay clear of things that could damage it like water. Um, now, or, or it may just have like some, 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 like some very mild water resistance, but you definitely do not want to submerge this device. Uh, that would be bad news bears for you. Okay. Now, um, so, you know, the, the build quality, the phone feels solid. It feels durable. Like I said, it's glass. And so you definitely want to get a case and a screen protector to protect your investment. Like I said, the phone is kind of heavy, bulky. You know, I can see somebody very easily dropping this phone. Now I've got small hands. And so you can see how, you know, it, it's, um, uh, the aspect ratio, I believe is, uh, I believe it's a 20 by nine aspect ratio. And the weight of this phone is 260 grams. It's 10.9 millimeters in thickness. I mean, so, you know, uh, this joint, on, it, it ain't no punk, man. You know what I mean? Some, somebody run up on you and you ain't got nothing to, to, to defend yourself. And you split somebody's wig with the LG wing and make, and get, and make a dash for it, you know, if that's what you got to do. I mean, I'm not promoting violence. I'm not trying to incite violence. I'm just simply saying, I mean, you know, this phone can be used as a weapon because it's that thick and heavy. And, you know, you can really hurt somebody, man. You, you know, you, 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 you concuss somebody, you know what I'm saying, with this device, man. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you know, I'm just saying worst case scenario, you know what I'm saying? If you had to fend for yourself and you had no other options, man, you know, uh, yeah, you, you know, the, the wing, the wing might help you out. You know what I'm saying? Um, but, you know, nonetheless, in spite of the, the bulk and the heaviness of the device, you know, I've gotten extremely used to, you know, wielding bigger types of devices. And so it's not really a big deal for me, but I can see how, you know, that could possibly be a determining factor for some, because some people, they want a lightweight device. And so that's just something to consider. If you're thinking about copping the LG wing It's heavy and it's bulky, you know what I mean? But if you can get past that, I think all the other things about it will far outweigh, you know, the fact that the phone is kind of clunky and heavy. Okay. But overall, the build quality, it feels solid. It feels sturdy. Um, you know, this thing is kind of, it, it, it feels like a tank as far as the weight of it, um, compared to other devices. And, you know, I've, <laughs> I've been rocking mostly, uh, lately within the past week or so rocking my, um, my, my iPhone 12 mini, which, you know, that little thing is a featherweight. So it's like after holding the mini and then you pick this bad boy up, it's like, whoa, <laughs> you know, uh, this, this joint really got some weight to it. Now, performance. Again, Snapdragon 675G, which is uh, uh, Qualcomm's uh, upper tier, upper mid-range, close to flagship level 5G device. And what are you getting? You are getting excellent. And I mean, excellent, excellent performance. Eight gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of storage on board. That is expandable. And of course, with LG, you know, uh, the swipe features. Again, this is something that LG originated, and I don't think that they get enough praise for that. I've always been crazy about this little 3D carousel effect, right? Just how you scroll and the, the, the applications just literally look like they're going to come out of the screen. It's crazy. Um, swipe hard to the right. This is going to get you to your Google Now feed. Before, it was something different. I can't, I can't remember the, the exact name of LG's um, 
God, it's right on the tip of my tongue. I can't remember the name of it, but before that wasn't always the case. LG, they had like another, uh, their own little feed where you can, you know, um, customize certain things. And it wasn't quite like the Google feed here. Um, it was, it was very different. And so I like the fact that we do now have that implementation, uh, because somebody like me, I mean, I, 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 I look, I look at a lot of information and the Google feed really helps me out and just having the ability to just swipe to the right. And there it is right there. I see my guy, Carson Wentz, you know, he's on the chopping block, you know, Jalen hurts. He got that job out there. Shout out to my Eagles, man. I know they didn't have a strong season this year, but I'm a diehard Eagle fan. I'll never jump ship. I ride or die with my team. It's going to be interesting to see what happens during this off season. Um, shout out to my man, Jay Will too, who's also a, you know, a diehard Eagles fan. I see you out there, baby boy. We're going through some tough times, but it's going to be all right, man. We're going to turn this thing around and we're going to be a contender again in that NFC East. All right. Um, but yeah, so, you know, we got the Google and you, you guys see, you know, I got a lot of information here about phones, you know, scores, information about my teams, um, you know, just all kinds of stuff. I mean, so for me, this is super useful. And I know a lot of you guys out there use that Google feed as well. And so it's nice to know that that is implemented on the LG wing. Um, but as you can see, scrolling, even getting to my app drawer, not a problem at all whatsoever. Now, I know you guys are wondering, is there a higher refresh rate, either 90 Hertz or 120 Hertz? No, there is not. This is, you know, 60 Hertz, and some of you may bark at the fact that, well, you know, this was a 2020 device, came out late 2020. It's a, full, you know, it's it's a dual screen option. How is it possible that this phone does not have a higher refresh rate? It doesn't need one. Okay. It doesn't need one. The screen is super responsive. And I think just your ability overall to change the, uh, the scrolling effects this phone, it, it like it, the way it moves and the way it looks as I'm scrolling, there's no choppiness. Everything is super smooth and fluid as if it was already it, like it, it moves and, and, and is responsive to the touch as if it is operating with a 90 hertz refresh rate turned on. Now, not quite 120 because that is like super buttery smooth. But I mean, the responsiveness of this display is... Uh, is, is pretty phenomenal given the fact that there is no higher refresh rate. Okay. And you can see it is super, super responsive to the touch. If I want to swipe slow, it moves slowly. If I want to swipe fast, boom, it's instant. Okay. It's instant. And then, and that's just the app drawer. You know, when I go to my, my home screen and I just rock with the, you know, the applications and the folders that I use most, which is why, you know, I'm a minimalist. And so that's why my, my, my home screens, you don't really see too much going on there. Um, it's just lightning quick. It's, it's lightning quick. Um, performance is popping to Spotify again, super, super content heavy application. I've got tons of music. I'm a major, major, major audiophile. I mean, I've got subscriptions to, you know, um, and paid subscriptions might I add. Some of you guys may think I'm nuts, but yes, I have a paid subscription to Spotify, a paid subscription to Apple Music, a paid subscription to YouTube Music. I mean, man, I am a super duper audiophile. Music is my life. And without it, I'm not sure if I'd be here. So, you know, I take my music very seriously and I've got major massive playlists on each and every one of those platforms. And so, um, pop into SoundCloud here. I think SoundCloud is the only one that I, that I haven't, you know, done the paid subscription, but I mean, you know, they offer so many different things for free, you know, for me and my usage with SoundCloud, I don't need to pay for a subscription. Um, but you know, that, uh, that could very well happen, you know, at some point we'll pop into YouTube real quick. And um, I am connected to my Wi-Fi. I currently do not have my SIM card in this, on this device at the moment. Um, but this is YouTube as things are loading up and you can see things are just loading up super duper quick. Again, just like a hot knife through butter as a lot of us YouTubers like to reference. Um, but I mean, you, you can see there, I mean, everything is super responsive. Um, Let's go to Amazon real quick. And again, you know, the, you know, the, the, the data speeds are going to differ 
you know, depending on the carrier that you're with. Again, as I mentioned, this phone is 5G enabled. And I know that the purpose of 5G mainly is to give us a, a much speedier experience when we're using our devices. Basically, 5G is, to put it plain, is supposed to give us uh, 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 Wi-Fi type speeds. Like my Wi-Fi at my home is super powerful and super fast. And you see how fast and fluid that my phone is, respond is responding to everything that I'm going into. And you know, 5G is supposed to give us, you know, a pretty similar experience when you're talking about speeds, you know, download speeds, all kinds of stuff. Everything is just, is just supposed to be that much faster when you're dealing with 5G. Um, now this is a, um, again, I got this from Verizon and you know, I can't really tell too much of a difference between their 5G and their 4G LTE. You know, it's a very minor difference. You know, if there is anything that's noticeable, you know, I live in Seattle, Washington, where, you know, 5G hasn't quite taken off just yet. You know, I know that T-Mobile, you know, they advertise their nationwide 5G, but it's a low band 5G um, uh, 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 speed. And so, you know, I can't really say that I, where I am, that I can really, you know, see the benefits of 5G right now. But as time goes on and the 5G signals get stronger, um, then yeah, I'm pretty sure, you know, those things will come to fruition. And this being a 5G enabled device, you know, you'll be able to take advantage of those lightning fast speeds. Now, again, we've got eight gigs of RAM. We swipe up just to bring us to everything that we had open. As you can see, when I go into SoundCloud, it's right there. If I wanna go back into Best Buy, it's right there. Everything is held very well in the RAM. Interesting, it had to reload YouTube right there. I mean, typically it does not do that, um, but it is what it is. Even if it does have to reload the page, it only takes about a second or two and things are, you're, you're right back to what you were doing with no problems at all whatsoever. I mean, so, you know, um, you know the RAM management, um, you see, you pop right back into Amazon, uh, with YouTube, well, we were there, Best Buy, yeah. You, you get the hint. I mean, so, you know, the performance on this phone is is stellar, in, in my opinion. I mean, I've, I've done a lot of different types of multitasking, you know, with the screen flipped up, you know, having things running on the top screen, doing different things on the bottom screen. Um, you know, I mean, I've anything that I've thrown at this phone, it didn't lag, it didn't stutter, it handled it with ease. And so performance, in my personal opinion, thumbs all the way up for performance. Um, now, the cameras, oh man. Now the cameras are where things really, really, really get interesting with this, with this device. And just first off, the cameras on this phone are absolutely phenomenal. They are absolutely phenomenal. If there's any YouTubers out there that does vlogging or does similar to what I do, you know, as a reviewer and you want a mobile phone that is going to give you super rich imagery and videography, photography, all those things, the LG Wing is the device for you, okay? Now, on the front here, uh, we have a, um, we've got a 32 megapixel motorized pop-up camera with an f 1.9 aperture 26 millimeter wide angle lens featuring hdr and 1080p recording at 30 frames per second now we don't have 4k recording with the front camera what does that mean to me absolutely nothing because the 1080p quality with this phone is beast mode all right now um oh excuse me and like i said it's a motorized pop-up sensor and so if you pay attention to the top of the device right here when i switch it to selfie mode you see that camera pop up right there in the top. And, you know, I don't know if you, I mean, the, the, the overall quality does not do this device justice right now. Like I know you can see me in the viewfinder right here, right? And it, it just, the image that's before me just looks absolutely amazing, amazing, right? It, it's just, you, I mean, you just have to see it for yourself. I mean, you know, at the tail end of this video is gonna be the camera review 
and there's timestamps down below. And so, you know, if you just want to stop it and get right to the camera review, just to check out the still shots, the videos that I've taken with this device, then you can stop and just go into the description box, click on the timestamp that says camera and it'll take you right there. So you can jump around the video if you want to. Um, but nonetheless, I mean, the camera on this phone is just amazing. Like I said, this is a 32 megapixel selfie sensor pop-up lens. Have you just seen it pop up out of the top? Um, and uh, man, I'm telling you, I mean, the, the cameras on this phone are, I mean, you, you guys can see I've got a Sony 4K camera that I'm recording this video with, right? If I didn't have this equipment, I would be totally comfortable and content with running my whole channel off of recording everything with this device. Everything. Like, don't let Apple fool you into believing that they are the only manufacturers right now that are putting nice cameras that have excellent still shot imagery and video recording capabilities in their devices. The Samsung S21 also has some phenomenal cameras as well. The LG Wings cameras are right there in that same conversation if you ask me. Okay, like I said, if, if I didn't have the equipment that I have, you know, man, I'd be totally content just running my whole channel with this camera on the LG wing. And that's saying a lot. That's saying a lot because I take this thing very seriously. And over the years, I put a lot of money into my channel to increase my production, investing in cameras, microphones, you know, different lights and stuff. I'm burning up right now under this hot light. But I mean, hey, that's just the nature of the business, um, you know, but um. Yeah, man. I mean, you know, the camera is stellar. Now, the, the rear camera on this device is, get my little cheat sheet here. It's a triple camera lens. We've got a 64 megapixel wide sensor with PDAF and optical image stabilization. We've got a 13 megapixel ultra wide sensor and another 12 megapixel ultra wide sensor. Okay, then the features we've got 4K recording at 30 or 60 frames per second, 1080p recording at 30 or 60 frames per second, and we also have gyro electronic image stabilization as well. And so, like I said, if you want to um, just get right to the camera review, you can um, by clicking into in the description box and clicking on the timestamp. Now, another thing with this camera that, that is so crazy is you can rock the camera like this if you want to, and you've got a lot of different options, right? But where the magic happens, ladies and gentlemen, is when you flip the device this way. This is where the magic happens. And you click on camera and you see the, 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 the one app that pops that's just right there in your face when you, sw when you slide that screen up, is the camera app, okay? You are getting just robust features and functions with this camera. This is called gimbal mode. And I mean, you've got so many different things that you can do. I think it is so dope that you've got the controls down here. Um, and you can do little cool things like this little joystick in the middle. You can move the camera around. And you can see the camera panning. I want to look down. If I want to look up. You know, if I want to recenter the camera, I just hit that. And it recenters the camera. I mean, this, I mean, you're I mean, just this is stupid, man. This is this is ridiculous. I mean, my goodness. I mean, it, it just, yeah. You can this little lock right here, I mean, you can move the lens around to where you want it and you can lock it so that it will stay in place. Um, now, right now we've got it in, uh, we're in gimbal mode. We've got dual recording where on the right side, you see there's me right there. And then on the left side, you've got the rear facing cameras. I mean, so you can dual record if that's what you want to do. Okay. And we can change the, 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 uh, the aspect on the display to more like a picture in picture type view to where you're getting a bigger, uh, um, 
viewfinder if you want to just focus more so on the rear cameras but then you still can see yourself right here or we can just go back to that split screen option okay now that's that's uh that's dual mode then we've got time lapse and we've got slow-mo okay now when you put it back in gimbal mode we also have these different settings and so oh come on the battery life is getting low come on it may not let me do certain things just because the battery life is running low um, but let's see so this is follow mode part follow and so it's like when you put it in that mode it's like you know the the camp the the lens will follow you like it's I mean, it's, 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 it's crazy what you can do, right? This is full on follow mode. Okay. The PF is, oh, pan follow mode. And then the F is follow mode. And then we've got first person view mode. Okay. Um, yeah. I mean, we got all our options right here. This is where you can change the video, the video resolution, um, Gimbal mode shutter speeds right now it's set to normal, but you can set it to high or normal. Those are the only things that you can choose. The shutter sound, the grid, add a watermark, tag locations, and help. My goodness, man. I mean, the, yeah, the, the camera on this device is just, it's insane. It's insane. And, you know, these applications here are where you can do different things, you know, like I'm clicking on the app right there, the, the maps app. I did that incidentally. I didn't mean to do that, but this is just a demonstration really quickly of, you know, how you can use both of the screens at the same time. So essentially, you know, I can be in maps and, um, let's see, I can, you know, make a phone call down here if that's what I want to do. You know, you get the, you get the point. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, I, now from what I've seen, these are the only apps that you can get up here. I believe that you can get others up there, but I think that the ones that pop up when you, when you switch to gimbal mode are like the ones that are optimized the best to take advantage of, uh, of that dual screen capability. But I mean, my goodness, man, I mean, it's, 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 it's crazy what this phone can do once you really start to dive deep within it. Right. And so that's the cameras. Now the battery life. Now we've got a 4,000 milliamp hour non-removable battery. Okay. 4,000 milliamp hour battery. We do have fast charging capabilities. Uh, we're running, you know, we got the type C, uh, uh 3.1, a port down here at the bottom. I mean, so you're going to get lightning fast charging speeds. We do have wireless charging, um, and we've got quick charge 4.0 plus. And so this phone charges extremely fast, whether it's plugged in or it's sitting on a wireless charger. Now, obviously, if it's on a wireless charger, it's not going to charge as fast as it would if it was plugged into the adapter. But nonetheless, I mean, you're still going to be able to charge this phone pretty swiftly if it's on a wireless charger, depending on the wattage of that wireless charger. Um, but uh, yeah, man, I mean, battery life has been stellar. You know, easily, easily can get through a full day on a single charge. I mean, I'm, I'm about a day and a half, close to two days on a single charge. And that's just with light to moderate usage. You know, like I've said in most of my videos, I'm a light to moderate user. A lot of times what I'll do is when I first get a phone, I'll charge the battery all the way up and I'll go hard on it. And I'll just do a lot more of what I typically do. You know, typically I just do a lot of texting. I don't really talk on the phone that much. Um, but testing, testing is, uh, texting is like my main source of communicating with people. Um, you know, I, I watch a lot of videos on YouTube. I stream a lot of music on all three of my music platforms, whether it be Apple Music, Spotify, uh, YouTube Music, or SoundCloud. Um, you know, and I do a fair bit of web browsing as well. You know, because a lot of a lot of the information that I get from these devices, you know, I search and I seek out information and I scour the internet for these devices. And oftentimes, I do them right from my phones. You know, so. You know, I, I, I can do enough, you know, to put put a phone through its paces and really kill a battery. And this device just keeps on going. You know, it just keeps on going. And so, um, you know, now if you're the type to where you're gaming and you're downloading and watching movies and stuff like that, like I don't do a lot of that stuff on my devices. You know, the main things that I typically do are the things that I just described. And, um, you know, in certain devices, you know, those things can kind of run through a battery um, a little a little bit quicker. But with what I do, 4,000 milliamps, 
I get through a day with ease, with no problems at all whatsoever. I take this phone with me and I'm not concerned about battery life at all whatsoever. And that exact, that's exactly what you want. You want to know that you're going to have a device that has some serious battery sustainability to where you're not even going to have to think about it. You're not even going to have to worry about it because you know that it's got major battery life and it's going to be there for you when you need it. And the LG Wing definitely delivers on that front. Okay, it definitely delivers on that front. Now, um, additional features, you know, simple things. You know, I love the double tap to lock the screen, the double tap to awaken the screen. We've got the under the display fingerprint sensor right there that, oh, I didn't leave my finger on there. Let's see, there we go. It's not, it's not, it's not the fastest, but it's not the slowest as well. So you see I'll double tap on the display. I like the little animation there. And you just gotta set your thumb on it and you'll hear the vibration, you know, indicating that you've got proper placement and then it just pops right open. This works 100% of the time. You know, what I just displayed, you know, I just, I had my thumb on it too lightly. Um, but it works every time. It's not a problem at all whatsoever. Okay, so I like the double tap to wake the screen and to lock the screen, the fingerprint, a sensor, you know, it works 100% of the time. Um, I like when you get notifications, kind of like on the Samsung devices, you got the edge panels. And so whenever I get a notification, you know, it will, I wish I could display it right now, but I don't have my SIM card in this phone. But whenever I get certain notifications, you'll see like a blue ring that just lights up really bright around the edges of the display. And I like that. I like the fact too, that it's not true dramatic, but you can see how the display kind of bleeds over the sides. And it does have palm rejection. So, you know, even though I'm holding the device like this, I never have like accidental presses, even though, you know, if I'm really cuffing this phone, my fingers are, you know, touching the display because the display is wrapped around the left and the right. And so obviously when I'm holding the phone like this, you can see the palm of my hand, my thumb is touching the screen. But I've never had a situation where I've accidentally opened up apps because of that. I mean, so I, I just like the way the phone looks. You know, it's that taller aspect ratio. The phone is kind of thin. It's not really thick, which is how I'm able to easily wield it with one hand, especially given the fact that this phone is pretty big. Um, but I mean, it's, it's, it's not a problem. And then of course, you know, the, um, you know, sliding the screen up and just having the dual screen capabilities you know, um, man, I mean, you know, I'll display that again. This, 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 this is, I mean, this is the, 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 the feature, the feature highlight of the device. <laughs> and this is pretty major. And another thing too, I like the fact that you could set applications up so that when you click on, you can click on them and it will automatically bring up different things that you want to do. So like right here, now these were the pre-installed ones. You got YouTube and maps, right? If I click on that, it's going to open up YouTube on the top display and on the bottom, it's going to open up Google. And so now, like I've got all my Google, like the, the Google feed that I showed you earlier. All that stuff is down here under my Google search. And then I've got YouTube up here. And so, you know, you know, I watch a lot of comedy videos on YouTube. If I want to watch my man Jack Gang or, or uh, Country Wayne or, or, uh, official minks or, you know, big jaw. There go my man Country Wayne right there. He is a nut. Um, you know, if I want to watch Skip and Shannon, you know, Undisputed, um, you know, First Take with Stephen A and Max, you know, man, I I got all kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I can, I can watch those videos up top and get my laugh on, but if I want to do something else, you know, if I'm watching a video at the same time and I want to, you know, shop on Amazon or, or get on bestbuy.com and, you know, cop me a little something at Best Buy, I could do that. Right. So, so just the whole, the whole dual screen, uh, uh, aspect, uh, of this device is, 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 is pretty remarkable. It's pretty remarkable. And, you know, I think one of the downsizes with this device, and I believe that I understand why, because of the fact that if you've got You've got a lot of stuff going on up top of the device. I don't really care too much for the fact that this phone does not have dual stereo speakers. Okay. Um, 
And I, I know that, you know, LG, you know, and a lot of their, their most recent flagship devices, they had, um, they had that boom box speaker where if you set the device on like a hollow, uh, a sur or something hollow, then it would increase the sound. And I'm not exactly sure if that technology within the bottom firing speaker is implemented in the wing here, but it does sound as though if I were to set this phone on a, on something hollow while playing content, it does seem to amplify the sound a little bit. Um, but I, I, I don't recall seeing that, that, uh, that boom box speaker being advertised in the wing. So we've just got a bottom firing speaker and it gets plenty loud, right? It's loud enough, but I've gotten so used to having devices that have the speaker on the bottom and up top. Um, I do a lot of voice texting and a lot of times if I'm not wearing a Bluetooth, te uh, a Bluetooth device and I want to listen to one of my voice texts coming in from one of my partners or something, you know, it's good to just put the phone in my ear like I'm talking on it and be able to listen to that message. But because of the fact that we don't have a speaker up top rather than the ear receiver speaker, it's like when I'm listening to voice text, I have to put the bottom firing speaker up to my ear. And that's just, it's awkward. Like it's awkward feeling, especially with this phone being as big as it is. I mean, it's just, it's just an awkward feel. Now, I'm not exactly sure. I don't know. A lot of times people don't really seem to be hip to voice text, you know, <laughs> but I use it quite often. I use it on all my devices. And one of the indictments with the iPhone that I have, as great as the iPhone is, and as much as I like it, is you can only do voice text to people that have iPhones. It's like they don't give you the option to voice text anybody. And I like Android because they give you the ability to voice text anybody, no matter if they have an iOS device or an Android device. And so I'm a huge fan of that. Um, but uh, I, I think, you know, the fact that this phone doesn't have an IP rating, that's not a big deal to me. You know, I'm from the 70s. You know what I'm saying? I was born in 78, man. I was always taught that you don't get electronics wet no matter what. And so it does not matter to me that we have, you know, these IP ratings on all these devices. That doesn't make me want to go and get my device wet. You know, I'm not just like, oh, this device has an IP rating. So let me submerge it in water for 30 minutes for two meters and uh, or two liters or whatever or whatever uh, the, the depth is that you can go. And, you know, just, just for fun, you know, just to see if everything is still functional, you know, after I'm done doing that. No, I'm not. I don't care about an IP rating. So to me, the fact that this phone does not have one is not a determining factor for me. Okay. But it may be for you, you know? So, um, you know, those are some of the, 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 the additional features that I love about the wing here, uh, especially, you know, that swinging the screen up and taking advantage of the dual display. This phone looks like a regular phone. Some, some, some foldable devices, you know, you can kind of, you know, me being a reviewer, you know, I can distinguish between, you know, a, a, a regular, you know, a regular looking device versus something that is a foldable option because most of the foldable options have had them or I've got some coming in, you know, for review. So make sure you keep it locked here at Pristine Mobile Tech. The LG Wing here just looks like, it's a very nice looking device, but it just looks like another conventional glass sandwich, right? I have blown people's minds and I've done it purposely, you know, just being around a crowd and you know how it is nowadays. Everybody's on their phone. Everywhere you look, everybody's got their head down because they got their, their nose buried in their phone. And so, you know, I'll just be sitting there chilling Got my phone out and people are just thinking, uh, you know, typical phone, whatever, no biggie. He's doing his thing. And then I hit him with this. Oh man, their, their, their brains are blown. Their minds are blown. Then, then you got a crowd around you. Like, what is that? What, what, what is that? What does that do? Oh my goodness. You know what I'm saying? This, this, this phone has that shock factor. You know what I'm saying? This phone will shock you. You know what I'm saying? I mean, to go from this, which is typical, to this, when you do that, you're going to hear a lot of, <gasps> a lot of people gasping, like, <gasps> oh my God, <laughs> what is that? What's this guy doing? What's this guy got in his hand? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I love the attention, man. I ain't even going to front, man. So, you know, I just do that just to, you know, you know, make people spaz out for a minute. And then, you know, it'll give me a reason to explain to them what's going on, you know? And you know, I'm a phone reviewer. So obviously I love to talk about this stuff. And so any opportunity that I have to talk about this stuff, I take up on it, you know? And, and you know, th this, this is a hell of a phone. Who's this device for? This device is for anybody out there that wants something new, 
that want something completely different from anything that they've ever had before. The LG Wing is definitely going to provide you with that look and the feel. Okay, now if you, like I said, this phone's a little bulky, it's got a little weight to it, but if you can get past that, the experience alone with the overall performance, definitely with the cameras and the features and functions of this device, I mean, this device has got everything. It's got everything. Like I said, I, 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 it would be nice to have dual stereo speakers, but that's not really a determining factor for me because more than the majority of the time when I'm listening to content on my device, I have, I have a Bluetooth in my ear and I have several different Bluetooth speakers. I've got the Galaxy Buds Live. I've got AirPods. Um, I've got the JBs. Shout out to my man, Jay Will. He sent me a pair of JBs. I've got the Vankios. You know, man, I mean, I've, I've got my, my, my Plantronics uh, 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 5200 Voyager, you know, which I think is one of the best Bluetooth devices on the market. Um, man, and, and, you know, and I got wireless headphones, you know, you know, I, you know, I got, I got some Anchor Soundcore wireless headphones that just sound beast mode. I mean, I've got multiple different avenues to go down, you know, with wireless options. I mean, so typically, you know, uh, dual stereo speakers, I, I don't even bother with them. It's like if the phone has it, great. If it doesn't, it's not really a big deal. But I'm just saying, the fact that this phone does cost $1,000, typically a lot of $1,000 devices that we're getting nowadays, they have dual stereo speakers. I mean, so I would have liked to have seen that on this device. But beside that, and you know, an IP rating, which again, I don't care about that, but I want to mention that because you guys that are watching this video and listening to this content may care about that. If you can get past those things, you are in for a treat with the LG Wing. And the fact that this phone has been out for a little bit, you don't, I'm sure you can get it on sale. You know, if you don't want to cash out out of pocket like I did, you know, you can, you know, uh, uh, you know, put it on installments and, and, you know, you know, you know, pay it off that way if that's what you want to do. Or if you big balling, you know what I'm saying? You just go ahead and just cash out the cash out of Thow Wow. And uh, there you go, you know, with your, with, your, with your shiny new LG device. All right. So that's all I got, ladies and gentlemen, for the full pristine review for the LG Wing. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. Be sure to like, share and subscribe to expose yourself to tons of more videos that I've done like this one. Be sure to hit that notifications bell so that every time my videos get dropped and go live, you will get the notification and you can be one of the first to check out that content. And get down in the comment section and let me know what you think about the content in which you saw. If you have any questions or comments, the comment section is where I'm always chilling that little baby. You know what I'm talking about? So go ahead and reach out to me in the comment section. I love to converse with you guys all over the world about these devices. You know, and the only thing that I ask is very simple, is that we keep it clean, keep it respectful, and I love to talk tech with you guys. You would be amazed of the level of disrespect and the things that people say behind keyboards, behind keyboards. And it's okay. I'm a man of faith. I don't buy into it. I don't even dignify it with responses. I just ignore it, block it, and keep on pushing. You know what I'm saying? Because you just can't keep a good guy down. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So, uh, hey, that's all I got for the LG Wing, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for stopping by for a little bit here at Pristine Mobile Tech and let me bend your ear about this remarkable device. And uh, you already know, please stay safe, get spiritually fit, because we are definitely living in the last days, and keep it pristine in every aspect of your lives. Again, thank you all for made it. If you made it to the tail end of this video, I thank you. And the camera review footage is going to roll right now. Catch you guys in the next video. Peace. What's up y'all? It's your man Pristine. All right, so these are the rear cameras on the LG Wing. Now we have a 64 megapixel wide angle sensor that features PDAF and optical image stabilization. We've got a 13 megapixel, uh, megapixel ultra wide sensor and we've got a 12 megapixel ultra wide sensor. So two ultra wide sensors there featuring 4K recording at 30 or 60 FPS. We've got twin, uh, 1080p recording at 30 or 60 FPS and we are also featuring gyro electronic image stabilization. All right. So, um, yeah, let me uh, 
go ahead and, you know, venture on outside here. Okay. Now, as far as the overall camera quality, <laughs> I mean, the camera quality is amazing on this device, man. I mean, people people really sleep on LG devices, and I have no idea why. Because LG devices are they they feature some killer cameras. I mean, killer cameras, and these cameras on the wing to me are some of the best cameras that I've seen on a smartphone and I've had my hands on a lot of good ones ladies and gentlemen um, but when you when you swing this screen to the side and uh, the overall quality that you see and just the features and just you know just the ability this little pan feature to pan the camera right or left or up or down and I'm holding the camera straight I mean this is crazy to me and we'll go ahead and recenter the camera like this is dope now this phone doesn't have um, it's not IP rated and it's starting to sprinkle, so <laughs> let me get back up under the little gazebo here. But, um, yeah, then you see me right there in the reflection. What's up, y'all? It's your man Pristine, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, man, th th this camera, this camera is insane, man. It is crazy. Just the overall quality and the features. Yeah, so sound off in the comments on what you think about this. I'm going to turn the camera around and we're going to get some uh, some uh, some selfie video footage. And, uh, you know, we'll close it out. All right? All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So now this is what this is what dual recording looks like. Right? How dope is this? You know what I'm saying? I mean, so, you know, got on the left side, you got the viewfinder with the rear cameras. And then on the right, you've got the viewfinder for the selfie camera. And, you know, as you can see, I'm just... Strolling about the house. This, this is this is crazy right here, yo. What are you talking about, man? Who, oh my goodness, man. You cats that be out there, man, talking that not talking real slick about LG, man. Y'all need to stop it. Stop it. I mean, to a point to where LG is even considering, you know what I'm saying, exiting the smartphone game. I mean, that would be that that would be catastrophic, man. We got to we got to continue this level of competition. It can't just be Samsung and Apple. You know, Huawei was in the mix for a little bit, you know what I'm saying? But I mean, you know, they got hit with the sanctions, you know what I'm saying? And they can't use uh uh Google uh, uh, technologies in their devices and I understand they're working on their own uh, operating system which would be dope I really would like to see that but I'm like come on man you know and yeah you know we got other major players in the game you know we got Motorola we got OnePlus you know we still got Xiaomi making big noise stay tuned for that Mi 11 that Mi 11 is coming I'm heavily sawed after that Xiaomi Mi 11 that joint, that joint looks dope, but uh, this, this, this is, the, oh man, I, I don't even know, man. I, I don't know, man. This, this is crazy right here. This, this is, this is insane right here. And this isn't even, I mean, this isn't the only device to have this feature, right? There's been other devices that have had this feature, but I mean, this is. Don't let this be the end, LG. Now, I hear that they got a rollable device that's coming out in 2020, you know, sometime later this year. Um, and, and, and matter of fact, I'm hearing like the first quarter or something like that. I mean, so I hope that's true because I definitely want to get my hands on that. But some people have speculated that that's going to be LG's last device, right? And I'm like, man, no. Say, say, say it ain't so, baby. <laughs> say it ain't so, you know. So, um, yeah, man. Uh... This is the dual, the dual recording feature from the LG Wing. And, uh, you know, I just want to show this real quick because the phone does have this capability. And, uh, yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? Now I'm going to just go ahead and just get the front-facing camera. 
And then, you know, we'll close out the video portion and we'll roll the still shots. All right. All right, y'all. So this is the selfie camera on the LG Wing. And here we've got a 32 megapixel selfie sensor with an F1.9 aperture. Uh, this is a 26 millimeter wide lens featuring HDR, high dynamic range, baby. Uh, no 4K recording, 1080p recording at 30 FPS, no 60 FPS, no 4K. I mean, I don't give a damn about that. Because the overall quality on this camera, man, is so cold, man. It is so dope. It is so dope. So, you know, I mean, I, you guys just saw, you know, the picture-in-picture -picture, uh, 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 footage that this camera possesses. I mean... I mean, I just, I, I just don't know, man. Hold up, man. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Stroll around a little bit just to see if the footage is indeed stabilized. Just strolling on upstairs, you know what I'm talking about? And, uh, yeah. My little office space. So, yeah, man. This is the, uh. 32 megapixel sensor on the um, on the LG wing, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know what you guys think about this footage down below in the comments section. If you like this video, you already know, hit that thumbs up button. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to expose yourself to tons. And I mean tons of more videos that I've got like this one that I've already done and tons of more videos that I got coming. You know what I'm saying? Hit that notifications bell, you know what I'm saying? Because if you don't, I'll... Nah, nah, I'm just joking. Nonviolent, nonviolent, you know what I'm saying? If you don't want to hit the notifications bell, it is all to the G. Because you know what I'm saying? This thing is going to pop off anyway for me, baby. You know what I'm talking about? You know? Whether I got your support or not. Now, I prefer to. I prefer to. But I know that my content ain't for everybody, you know what I'm saying? I mean, so it's all to the G, all right? But if you want to... Hit that notifications bell so that when my videos go live, you'll get notified and get down in the comment section, which is where I'm chilling at, and hit me with any questions, comments, or feedback that you may have, okay? Let's keep it respectful. I love to talk tech with you guys, but let's keep it respectful, all right? So that's all I got, ladies and gentlemen, for the camera video quality footage on the LG wing. Now go ahead and dig these still shots here, little babies, and I'll holler at y'all in the next one. Peace. Oh, peace, baby. Woo. Nah, nah. You want one of these chocolate chip cookies? Mm-hmm. Hmm? Mm-hmm. Yeah? They look good, huh, Mugwa? Yeah? Well, guess what? Mm -hmm. They're all mine. Who ate the rest? Hmm? Who ate the rest? I don't know who ate the rest, but I know those two cookies are mine. Hey, but they're for me in London. They're not for you in London. They're for me and me and me. They're for me and my tummy. Hey. Walk away, mama. Walk away. Okay, now, now, here's the cookie. I tricked you. It's mine. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, man, fresh out of the oven. They still steaming hot. Oh. Why are you peeking in on me, mama? Huh? Huh? No, they're not your cookies. They're my cookies. Aww. Here, come get one, silly. <laughs> You're too cute. Wanna say hi? Hey! <laughs>
silly. Say bye. Bye! <laughs>